<laughs> and now we know who's better. Welcome back to Next Lesson Music. <laughs> it's Joseph here. And Salvador here. And today we got a good one for you guys. A yes. very good one. I know we say that every single week, but this is a good one. You know, it's always good when you know uh, it's you know it's a good video when August is in on it. But uh, besides that, you know, Facts. <laughs> uh, we got an interesting uh, concept for you guys today. We're going to talk about always on game. Ooh. Ooh. It's so sleek that you didn't even notice we had always on game. Think about that. Yep. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get it, oh, you want to do it? Go for it. Go for it. Before we get started, click that bell for notification and click that subscribe button. Down below, bro. Yeah. Down below. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt you to hit the subscribe button. No, man. Come on, just, just click it. Just, just a thumb just, away. Just that stretch. Just that stretch. Just, yeah, you just gotta slide down a little bit. And then, oh, that's it. That's it. Come on, and right. support the channel that way. So today we're gonna learn on on on, on game. Right? What? <laughs> on game, right? Come on, you got this. Always. Always on game. Damn. <laughs> Always on game. All right. So explain that for us. All right, so the concept is really simple. It's in the name. It's always on game. Think about it. It's always on. It's game that's always on. If you want, you can flip it, right? Yeah. No, but getting a little bit into the sophisticated nature of it, uh, a lot of us have always had the question, how do people get those good, clean solo tones? I don't know if you've ever noticed it, but like when you're playing with a band and stuff, and then you say, oh, it's a solo, and they, and they use clean gain, and you start... <laughs> And then you just sink, you know, it doesn't pop out. And yeah. then you're like, what's happening? What's happening? Why don't I sound like... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I sound as good with the band? You know, because clean, it's hard to convey it because there's... Yeah. there's no, or unless you, you want to do some chords and then I solo clean to try to demonstrate. Yeah. So, so, uh, some heavy chords if you want. Uh, uh, heavy chords. Well, not like really heavy, but... As you can see, I'm clean and I'm sinking, man. He's taking over everything, man. You gotta stop, bro. Yeah. You gotta stop. So that is the main question. How do I pop out then? How do those people do it? Because it sounds clean. Well, the answer is always on game. That's the simple answer to it. Uh, so what you're ideally looking for is a low gain pedal, a low yeah. gain. You don't want super high. Well, it depends for some people if you think about it. Because some people, especially in metal, if they're clean, it's like our heavy. It's mm -hmm. like, oh my goodness, that's super like dirty. But that's their clean, right? Yeah. But for the for the majority of us, for the n majority of normal guitar players, and then just you're, you're, you're all normal, okay? Uh, but what you're gonna be looking for is an always on gain pedal. That's something that's on the majority of the time when you wanna do those clean solos. So I don't know, maybe the camera over here is gonna get it here. Let me, let me fix it up because it's a bit of a mess because uh, the other person who was here evidently doesn't know how to take care of stuff. Uh, but on my pedal board, I have a pedal called the Timmy, right? So that is my always on gain. If you hear me live when I'm playing, you know, Check it out, nice. <laughs> uh, but the majority of times I'm gonna have this on. Why? Because I want to sound a lot like uh, the that guy. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna be using that a lot of the time because I want that always on type of sound. You want that good, clean sound. And that's the only way to achieve it, is to have a pedal that's always on that pushes it just a little bit. Here, let's, let's compare it a little bit. So this is without it, right? So. And this is with it. Yeah, let me do this. Get the ball in the shaking. No, that thing is shaking. <laughs> so, what you're gonna notice on mine at least, well, before I tweaked it, it has a little bit of a volume boost because that's what you want ideally, yeah. right? Because the problem with clean solos is that you don't have enough volume. It's just like, bro, bro. The 
so it's easy for you to sink it like sink in especially when they're playing chords and stuff like that and you want to do a clean solo it just disappears i don't know if you've ever encountered that oh, when yeah. you're playing clean solos you just disappear it's like if you're not doing a solo at all you're just like quiet like you're just hearing like there's like 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 bird or peeking like, Oh yeah, and like through it, you just hear the little, the little <laughs> here and there. It's like it's not pleasant. It's yeah. not pleasant. But what you, you do, and, and Salvador does this a lot too on his board. Well, he's got two of them on. Today. <laughs> but uh, ideally, what you want to do is gain something, not to be gainy, right? Because the point isn't to be. Damn, that was loud. <laughs> but that isn't the point. Sorry for your ears, right? The point isn't to be too gainy, but just have enough gain and enough volume so that you can play clean stuff, you know? So. Now, mine is a little dirtier than most people would do it, but that's just because of my personal preference, right? I like that type of. So if I dig into it. So if I were to dig into it, it gets kind of nasty. But if I play this uh, soft, so if I play softly, it's, it's clean, you know. Yeah. So what do you use in yours to have always on game? All right. So one of the things I do is that uh, on my sunset pedal. Well, I'll, I have my Shramit Iridium, in which um, it's on, and and right here, my, my drive, it's like, let me see, um, like, fit, like, 40, 45%. Well, you can use time. Huh? Like, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, there you go. Yeah. 11 o'clock, so that was, I don't know. <laughs> He's doing math in his head, like, oh my right. So that's 45, but when it comes to, like, my sunset, uh, I usually come right here on my sunset. So, for example, on my A A side, uh, the level is fifty percent, and the drive is actually uh, nine o'clock. So that's that's always nine o'clock, always, right? That it depends on the song, uh, but usually I have a nine 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 o'clock, and my tones are are always on uh, uh, three o'clock. There you go, three o'clock on both sides. But when it comes to my B side. This side right here, when it comes to two, the two stage or uh, hard, I would always go to two stage because it's more clean, more uh, you know, just that that style like very yeah. clean, clean drive, right? And then, but right here on the drive part, always have it on the nine o'clock level. So watch, and when I play. it up uh, cameraman you can see it ready ready uh, this is where the magic happens right so and then when it comes to boosting it up I just go with my leg my, my wow, look boost it up. I don't want to make it more drivey just put it up <laughs> so what what would you do for a clean solo? Like like you're always on game clean solo. Okay, it, it, it usually when it, it depends on the song, it like depends yeah. on the jam as well. So let's say so if he does like what he does what you did with like. All right. So think about that. So dun 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 dun. So it's like it's like um it's like it's rocky and it, 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 there, in my head right now is pop, what's popping up is two sounds either I could go full full game or uh, or for example when when is that watch two lines. so it's like. I added like four. Right? 
So that's when I want to do like full solos. But if I want to do like a little rhythm, like to do it again. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Without the the second guitar, it sounds like this. So it's like not too draining or anything like that. But it, it, it all, in the end, it, it it comes down to what what feeling you want to give to it. So I just added more to to three o'clock. So in the end, it, it comes down to like uh, usually when the solo added to like what one o'clock maybe one o'clock um, or just like when it when it comes to like a soft solo, but like do it again, but do it like a nice one, like E major, E major, A major, E major, E major. E major. But it's not like to an extent where where I do what I just did right now. Yeah. You know, added more and if it could be like that, like wow, mm, like and, and the first time I did it with, with like just like the like fifty percent, it's like mm, thank you, just talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> and then when I added to like like a, like a two o'clock, like mm, I feel it. You know? <laughs> that type of feeling. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. It makes, yeah? It makes perfect sense. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of the a lot of people make the confusion that oh it's a clean solo so I'm gonna play clean, mm -hmm. but it's actually not clean because let's say I do the same chords and you play clean like absolutely clean no game. Let's see how that sounds like. It's Ready? Not gonna be good, right? <laughs> solo you have to add some gain and that's completely fine that's how you get those those really nice clean solos there's actually a little bit of gain behind it it's not completely clean because even even then when I'm playing the chords I still have it on I, I use that gain all, all the time it's pretty much my always on game because that's that's what I like using right because if I don't It needs something, right? <laughs> so, so that's what's really special about those always on games. Of course, the caveat about it is that if it's always on, you gotta buy another pedal if you want more gain to it, unless you move it like Salvador does with his foot, which is disgusting. Um, what? <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Everyone does whatever they do, right? But <laughs> the point is, it's it's a really nice thing to. to work around those of course a lot of people what they revert to doing is having a gainy app but sometimes you need those like really spanky clean stuff for like 
So you might not want to dial in your gain, your amp tone really yeah. gainy. Otherwise, you won't have that sound available, right? Yeah. But for the most part, if you're an electric guitarist, if you're if you're doing a lot of uh, melodies and solos and stuff like that, you should look into having an always on gain. It doesn't have to be necessarily these pedals, but you can have a designated pedal or an effect block or whatever you use uh, that just gives you that little boost, you know, to play the. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing that. <laughs> or, or what was it? Uh, uh, something like that. August was playing that before. <laughs> Please don't get us demonetized. Uh, we promise we're not using it for any financial gains, right? <laughs> but but yeah, if you want to achieve those sounds, yeah. you need a little bit of gain. You need a little push. Otherwise, it's, it's like. <laughs> he doesn't like it, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it, it's it's lacking something. Yeah. But it, it's really interesting to to get into those always on games. Just having a little boost available to you. Uh, Salvador has them on all the time. I turn them on quite frequently too. I always have those games on the majority of the time, right? But yeah, it's it's nothing too special. It's just a game that pushes you, lets you uh, defeat everyone when the bass player is being annoying, doing his little thing, and then the drummer <laughs> is just at it, you know, you can turn on a little bit of game to do that clean solo, yeah. to be able to stand out. Otherwise, you sink like he did when I'm playing the chords, you can't even hear him. All you hear is the... <laughs> <laughs> like the, little, like, chicken... Yeah, the little pick here and there, right? But yeah, it's a really interesting topic. I don't know if you want to add anything else to that. Uh, that's it. I think it's just most, mostly just being creative, um, just knowing what you what you're doing, and just listening to other music, you know, and um, mimicking. There you go, mimicking other uh, guitarists. You know, not like, copying, but not mm. copying. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the wrong one. Right, that one. So it's like mimicking. So the, the, the more you listen to other guitarists, um, I, I think you will get their like little habits here and there, and then you're gonna make it your own. Yeah. So with that being said, go go ahead and discover you know what what pedals work for you as always on. So I'm using a Timmy. He's using a, a Sunset. Sunset over there, which mimics a couple of pedals there. You might use a Tube Screamer. You might use some other pedal, uh, a Blues yeah. Breaker. August uses some other pedals there too. So just. You know, discover what works for you and what gives you that that yeah. really good clean tone to do those amazing solos like yeah. Salvador does all the time yeah. over here, right? But with that being said, make sure to check out uh, our links down below, the Patreon, if you like the sounds you heard today. Besides the pedals, right? We can't give you the pedals, but we can give you the <laughs> reverb sounds, we can give you the Strymon presets, the HX Stomp presets, all that stuff. Make sure to check out the Patreon, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. This has been Joseph here. And Salvador. And see you guys.